giving birth. I still remember like it was yesterday. I received prenatal care from the hospital that's actually around this my neighborhood. Since I was really small, um, they thought that I was gonna have a miscarriage or that the baby might come out with um, like a deformity or something. Um, contractions were just so bad, it was paralyzing. So I couldn't speak, couldn't do anything. It was just painful. I have had four children, and with three of them, so there have not been any complications in the sangerskap or the birth, which led to that the birth was in week 29 in sangerskap, and then the baby died after a day. I am a mother who has been born a long time. Who has been born a long time? I am not a young girl. 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 My birth experience was horrible. <laughs> I was in early labor, so I was there for like three days. The hospital kept sending me home. It was in the winter, so it was snowing outside, and the doctors had the nerve to tell me to go walk around because I wasn't getting any contractions. Det er graviditet, den som var efter det barnet som døde. Det oplevede jeg som det var veldig vanskeligt følelsesmæssigt, for jeg var redd for at ting kunne ske, og jeg havde jo oplevet at det værste kunne ske. Så alt var jo veldig anledet, selvom det rent fysisk var helt alt var i orden og ingenting at bekymre sig for. Men jeg blev veldig ofte fuldt op af jordmor og Lege. The midwife said that feel free to call me anytime and I didn't feel her to come so we were together with my uh, husband um, I didn't have pains so we had uh, spent several hours being together and I think that was a very um, special period of time in the hospital I didn't feel safe at all but the doctor was he was just being a complete idiot with me. He kept telling me that every time I was pushing, he'd be like that I was pushing like a wimp. And he was just drinking coffee and watching his TV. Well, there was like several other student doctors who were there practicing who were... Actually, I think they did a better job than the actual doctor did. The experience was very liberating. I, I was just overwhelmed with emotions. I was crying. But I was happy. I was finally able to hold my child's stomach. I was able to hold him in my arms and it was just the best feeling ever. I was happy that my mom and my child's father they were both there when I was giving birth and that's all that mattered. Life completely changed. The first months I was struggling with breastfeeding and uh, learning what to do with the baby so it took quite a long time to, to rea realize that you know how connected we are and to it took, took time for me to, to really connect to him. My motherhood instincts kicked in as soon as he came out. So I was just all for him. It was no longer of, it was no longer Sana's world. It was Sana in Kevin's world.